with this WASH 2 Facebook Live update. I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Manalfi. Hope you guys are having a beautiful Tuesday evening. Uh, two days down, three days to go this work week. Uh, we do have some storms we're tracking tonight, both up north, uh, north of uh, our viewership, and then pushing into the southern reaches of our viewing area. Showers and storms in Osceola and Brevard County. I'm going to get you to there All right now. Uh, you can take a look at the enhanced satellite and you'll clearly see uh, where the energy is ongoing uh, right there near Osceola on in the Brevard County and then uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, with this front coming a little bit more to the south over the next couple of days just how far south uh, these storms are able to uh, uh, migrate southward ahead of that front so just something to watch we'll have to wait and see how things play on out you can see just north there of uh, Flagler County we got some storms and then down to the south we also have some storms so let's take a look at a couple of different radars uh, Tracy Latati uh, Terry Lottie and uh, Tracy Shuke Haley Riggs Nancy Cruz Garcia the whole gang is in the house tonight. all right so let's go up north you can see a little bit of an outflow there pushing into Crescent Beach, and that is going to get awfully close to marine land, probably just missing it. But again, this is the type of setup here uh, where we'd uh, have to uh, watch things over the next couple of days as storms try to propagate along that old boundary. So again, just something we're going to be watching. And then down to the south, Hope Joseph, Helene Rich, Jesus Garcia, Linda Crook. Jeanette Profiteer. Linda, did you actually get a, a, a notification tonight, Linda, just out of curiosity? Uh, there's a look at Melbourne, Keenansville, Yeehaw Junction. Uh, you can see the showers and storms here. There's Yeehaw Junction. There's Keenansville trying to migrate a little bit more to the north. There's Palm Bay getting in on the rain, Floridana Beach, uh, West Melbourne. You got a little cell there to your west coming right along 192. Sharing is caring. Haley Riggs, correct. You guys know my motto. Sharing is caring. Robert, yup, got to beat the Yankees here. Um, so some good stuff. There's 192. There's West Melbourne. Uh, there's Palm Bay. Just a couple of the showers and the storms that uh, we're going to have to watch here as we go through <clears throat> uh, the evening hours. Now, the models tonight uh, are doing this. They have the showers over towards Palm Bay and Melbourne, just kind of weaken them right around 9, 30, 10, 11. Here's a, a different model, and you can see <clears throat> there it is. So this model wants to bring it up into southeastern Orange County. We'll have to wait and see on that. And that might be a little overzealous, but uh, needless to say, uh, we will uh, watch and wait and see and just kind of go from there. Uh, Lows tonight, going to be quite warm. 73 Ocala, 73 Palm Coast, 75 in Orlando. Uh, the planner for tomorrow has another summer sizzler. 96 at 3 o'clock, Harry Vanderkamp, Helene Risch, Anne Marie, Sue Ellen Pistorius. Uh, don't mind the rain, keep the legs flexed. There we go. There we go. Miss Pitt PA is in the house. Sue Ellen. Uh, we got Billy Early LaMonica. Good group in here tonight. Loving this. Good, good, good group. All right, let's take a look now. Future cash, you can see. Front drop south. A couple waves of energy. Try to also drop south Thursday and Friday. That will hopefully increase the rainfall chances. KK McCullough shared the feed. KK, I knew I liked you. Let's take a look. There's 430 on Wednesday. There's Wednesday right there. Brittany Fischetti! Beautiful day today. Chris Rodermond. Chris, Chris has gone fishing. Love that. There it is. All right. <clears throat> There's the noon hour on Wednesday. Three, four, five o'clock. Showers, a couple of storms. Wednesday, things quieting on down. Thursday, I'll have to wait and see up north if a couple of these waves of showers and storms are able to make it on in. Uh, so there you go. Something we'll be watching. Rainfall amounts, future cast, showing some rain down south um, tonight with tonight's storms. And then a little more tomorrow, and then a little more on Thursday. So yeah, just something we'll be watching. 
and seeing how this one plays out over the next couple of days. Sharon, let's go Knights. Who's watching this? Stanley Cup. Sue Ellen. Yes, indeed. TNT, TBS. Uh, thank you, Linda. John Hansen, the Hansenators in the house. All right. Uh, rainfall pops tomorrow, looking like this. Again, I-4 to I-95, uh, looking wetter. And one thing we'll be watching as these cells try to propagate uh, from the north to the southeast. That's some of the things we'll be watching here over the next couple of days. James Donnelly and uh, James John Hansen, bring me the rain. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Tomorrow afternoon, there it is. <laughs> In Fuego, 96 Orlando, 96 Bithlow, 96 St. Cloud, 95 in Sanford. Sally Helmick, getting ready for my Vega. There you go. Sally, are you at the game or are you watching it from home out there in Vegas? Darlene Marie, Sally, oh, Darlene, he's turning 21, right? Indeed. All right, so today was 95. Tomorrow's 96. Let me just double check that to make sure there's no chicanery here. Yes, we did not. Um, did not hit 96. They did 95. We did hit 96 though in Daytona. Wowza. That is some heat. Heat, heat, heat. Oh, by the way, one quick thing here. Um, we are now eight days out from the start of summer, which uh, begins on June the 21st at 1057 in the morning. It's the longest day of the year for us, just under 14 hours. But look, you go up towards... Canadian border there, and it's 16 hours of daylight. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that's what I found, Sal's. My niece is a What? Are you kidding me, Sue? That's awesome. A cheerleader for the Las Vegas Knights. I love that, man. That's that's cool. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> well Sally would love for you, Sue, to have your niece get her a ticket so she can watch a hockey game out there. Just saying. Uh, all right, back to the temps for tomorrow. Here's a look at what we have. Uh, we are going to be hot. Uh, we are going to be summer sizzling hot. In fact, it's not just tomorrow. You take a look at Thursday and Friday. Still plenty of heat. Mm. And Dave Seedeth. Dave, good to have you back in the house. The Golden Knights. Las Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, all right, let's take a look at down the feels like Tim's here. There it is. Two o'clock. So boom. That is some ridiculous heat. Look at that. 107. Seriously? That is some dang. 108. There. 109. Wow. That's that's some dangerous heat, right? Yes, I see her. TV near home guys there. So crazy just to stand in the three to four hundred bucks. Wow, that's crazy. There you go. Two inches of rain since last Thursday, says Kay. Uh, Mets bases Mets have the bases loaded and one out. Come on now. Got a couple more runs here. See, Beatty's got we got Cannon's got it, McNeil's got two, Nimble's got well, okay. all right, all right. Let's keep that going. Uh, Adam Taft was cooking, big dog. Wow, so it's insane. Eating from uh, Tony from Wildwood, uh, indeed. Thomas Perry has popped in. So look at these feels like temperatures. That's Wednesday. Any better on Thursday? Not really. Look at the 108, 107. That's uh. Some dangerous heat there, folks. Yeah. Gil Copeland Duncan. Yep. Just squalling at the desk. <laughs> Gail, welcome to our Florida summer. It is a ride. Colleen on that. I'm hearing thunder in makeup. Yep, coming up from your south. We'll go back to that radar here in a second. Uh, go ahead, Sal's. Enjoy the game. 
Tracy Shu K Barber, whoop whoop. All right, heat and UV index high. Rip currents and medium threat and rain and storms. Uh, still low. All right, heat safety tips. There's what I got. Hydrate, take breaks, cool off. Those are the three biggies right there. For the pets, same thing. Got to give them water. Hydrate them. Limit time on asphalt and watch for the symptoms of uh, dehydration. Panting, difficulty breathing, weakness. Sue Ellen Pistorius. All right, Sue. Let's see here. There she is. That's pretty cool, man. Very cool. How long has she been doing that, by the way? I mean, cheerleading, that is, for the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Pretty pretty good gig if you can get it, right? Uh, only one run. 5-1. He, he's got to keep it going. Jay Laura. It was a summer sizzler out there, Jay Low. Uh, Diana Radnor, Kathy Dahl. Hey, you. Hey, you back. All right, so here's the deal, y'all. I wanted to show you guys how quick temps can climb. So in this animation, right, Let's say you, uh, you get to your Publix or, or, or four years, that's awesome. Uh, you get to your Publix or your shopping plaza, wherever you go. It's 95 degrees outside. You're inside for 10 minutes. Your car's jacking up uh, uh, to 114, 115. 30 minutes later, 129, 130. Pretty crazy, huh? Pretty crazy stuff right there. So that's why we say don't fool around with the heat. Uh, southwest winds 5 to 10, flat to 1. A foot for the surf, 80, 81 degree water temperatures, moderate chop on the intercoastal waters, and a moderate rip current risk. Here's the temperatures now over in Daytona, 93 at 3, 7 day. That's correct, KK McCullough. Uh, 95, 94, 92, 91, 92, 93, 90. Daytona, hot, staying in the 90s the next 7 days. Look at Palm Coast. Look at this. Tomorrow, low 90s. Seven day, we are in the 90s through Monday, maybe back into the upper 80s by Tuesday. Incredible, 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 incredible. All right, uh, golf tomorrow, little Wednesday golf. There you go. Hot afternoon, watch the heat. Feels like 100, 105 plus, in fact, we can say. Yakuts is going 60. Robert, Yakuts going 58, huh? All right, well, hold on, let's finish the weekend. It's Father's Day weekend. Saludos to you too, Rosalie Martinez. Front stalls out, fades out, moisture still in play all weekend long. There's a look at Father's Day. 50% chance for afternoon showers and storms on Father's Day. All right, quick look at the tropics. Not a whole lot going on, so we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. No development expected over the next seven days. Uh, when we take a look at the next name storm, that is going to be Brett. When we take a look at the tropical scorecard, for this year. Two Vinvests, uh, two tropical slash subtropical storms, no hurricanes and no major hurricanes so far. That's some good news as it's only June. Uh, let's take a look at the SAL, the Saharan uh, air layer, the Saharan dust layer. You can see some dust approaching the Eastern Caribbean. Um, so we'll continue to monitor that. That's going to be sucked westward underneath that big ridge of high pressure northeast of San Juan. Uh, you can see Pretty quiet. Water temperatures, though, good golly, Miss Molly. That is some warm, 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 warm water right there. And the wave action, by the way, is, you know, it's steady. Three to five to seven foot wave action there across the Caribbean, the eastern tropical Atlantic, a little bit calmer up in the Gulf of Mexico. Kathy, though, happy Father's Day to you all, she says. Joe Joe, Daytonian crew, Meta Scott, Rosalie Martinez. Here's a look down at your seven day. There you have it 96, 93, 94, 92, 93, 93, and 91. There it is. Plenty of heat, showers, and storms in Orlando for the next seven days. Welcome to June. Let's take a look at the temperatures. And if you want the June cooler weather, there you go. You got the. Uh, <clears throat> You got the cool weather in the northeast and the cool weather out west. There you go.
Cool in the northeast, cool out west. Vegas is a 90. A little snow in Colorado, a little snow, snow in Cali, Utah, Wyoming. We've got some cold air. Uh, oh, before we go to the, uh, let's take a look at the players here. Spinning low up here in the northeast. A little feature there right along the front. A little, a little snow out west, a little rain. Big old, that's a strong front for this time of the year, folks, coming into the Pacific Northwest. That's why out in Portland and Seattle, well, we've got some cooler air coming in. Now, let's take a look at the... Uh, Let's take a look at the temperatures around the globe here. 41 in Nome, 64 Fairbanks, 39 Fort Ross, 37 Iqaluit, Nanan Airport, 36. Ottawa, 66. Minneapolis, 85 degrees. El Paso, 94. Monterey coming in at 106 degrees. Wowza! Cancun, 86. Nassau in the Bahamas, 82. Kingston, 88. Belize City, 88. San Juan coming in at uh, 82. San Jose. Jules is in the house. Cincinnati's good. It's nice and warm here in the pocket, says Julianne. Robert DeRucky, ice 5 to 3. Oh, it's not good, Robert. Uh, Guatemala City, 75. Bogota, 61. Manaus, 82. La Paz, Bolivia, 46. Buenos Aires, 50. Punta Arenas coming in at 37 degrees. <whistles> Cape Town, 59. Madagascar, 52. Uh, you can see Rabat, Morocco, 63. Cairo, 73. There you have it. Diana Reen Schmidt and Jessica Silverman. Thank you, Jesse. Appreciate you, girl. Uh, hi, you all, says Diane. 37, my kind of temp. Yes. Jesse, you guys enjoy the weekend, too, by the way. For sure. There's a look at Moscow. A chilly 50. Berlin, 52. You can see Europe is a little bit on the cool side there. 64, 64, 59 this evening. Uh, off to the east, we had Astana, 45. Sergut, 55. Oops. Bratsk, 54. Ooh, Yakutsk, a chilly, a chilly, 41 degrees. Thank you, Jess. Uh, Lulu Ferry, Lopez has popped in. Uh, Joseph Yaptenko. Uh, what's on the water here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you guys didn't hear, Cam Tran announced that she's pregnant. Uh, so she's going to have a baby here in the fall. Uh, boy. So they're super stoked and happy. Yakuts 41, Sapporo 63, Tokyo coming in. At 75, Shanghai 77, Manila 86, Macassar 79, Alice Springs 54 degrees. There you go. Brisbane 68, Adelaide 54, Hobart Airport coming in at 46 degrees. Yeah, a little chilly up there, no doubt about that. All right. Hobart down under, uh, Australia, New Zealand, it, it is fall down under, so they are chilly. Now, Lahui, 79, a little chill in the air there. Honolulu, 83, Kahului, 84, and Hilo coming in at 84 degrees. All right, let's go back to Southern Brevard County here. i show you the storms. Here's what I got. 
uh, you can see some showers and some storms here through Osceola and Brevard County. A little heavier cell there, just south of Milburn Beach along A1A, northeast of Malabar. Uh, west of Melbourne, a few showers and storms percolating here along 192 and 95, so we will continue to watch that and keep everybody posted on things. There you go. As you can see, Satellite Beach, Melbourne, Palm Bay. All looking and doing very, very well. Going to get some much needed rain to help cool things down. And that is a beautiful, beautiful thing, right? There it is. Temps now there. 84, 85. Still 91, though, up in Palm Coast. 84. Over in Ocala. Eighty-four in Wildwood and eighty-seven back towards Winter Haven. So there you have it. Uh, no, Julie, I think they're going to stay dry. Go to the zoo, you'll be f you'll be fine. Go to the zoo and you will be fine over that way. Yes, you will. There you go. All right. So that is a look at that, 89. Let's see what it feels like temperatures look like. Still feels like 95 in Titusville, 98 in New Smyrna Beach, 99 in Bethlehem, 94 in Orlando. And here we are, it's almost 8.30 in the evening. Pretty crazy. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here with a look at the seven-day forecast. And then I'll let you guys do your thing. Don't forget, I'll be on tonight. At 10 on the CW18, West 2 News on the CW18, and then West 2 News at 11. 96, 93, 94, 93 for Father's Day. Again, over the weekend, a 50 to 60% chance for showers and storms. 50 to 60% chance for showers and storms. So that's uh, that's what we're going to be watching for. All right, gang, I'm going to rock and roll. Let you guys do your thing. Going to make some updates here. You guys do your thing. Hopefully, uh, you'll see me tonight at 10 on the CW18 and or at 11 on West 2. And I'll be right back here tomorrow night on Facebook Live at right around 8. Till then, ta-ta and stay cool.